Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Steven Kinchelik, and in this video I'm going to be going over some navigation shortcuts. Now we've gotten a lot of great feedback from the public beta of Movie Magic Scheduling 5 that's going to be ending on July 1st. And in that feedback, I've noticed that a lot of people don't know about some of the navigation shortcuts that we have in the application. So I want to go over some of those to help you work a little bit faster. So I'm going to start off here in the breakdown sheet. One of the first things I wanted to show as sort of a navigation tip is the Navigate By drop-down. And the Navigate By drop-down allows you to navigate by sheet, active board, or scenes. If sheet is selected, then when you click the next button, it's going to go to the next sheet in order. So it'll go to sheet 20, 21, 22, and so forth. If active board is selected, when you click the next button, it will go to the next strip that's uh, on your strip board and the associated breakdown sheet associated with that. And if you have scene selected, when I click the next button, it will go to scene 19, 20, 21, and so forth. So I'm going to leave it on active board. And so therefore, um, as I'm navigating around, it's navigating to the next sheets that are uh, in the order of the strips on the current strip board. Now, if I want to get to the strip board, uh, what a lot of people do is they go up to Schedule, uh, Strip Board, or hit Command U. But we found that an easier way is uh, this banner at the top is actually a button that will take you directly to that associated strip in the strip board. So when I click that, it highlights the strip uh, in the strip board that is associated with that uh, sheet. Now, where that really comes in play, I'm going to double click the strip to get back to the breakdown sheet, is uh, if I am navigating by, let's say, sheet, um, you know, if I go to sheet 12, well, that's on day number 18. So when I click on this banner, it's going to take me directly to that strip in the strip board. And notice it's more towards the middle of the strip board. So I don't have to go hunting for it. I can go directly to it by clicking on the big strip at the top. Let me go back to the uh, strip board. And there's some navigation tips around here also. And one of those is that if I right click on any strip, you'll notice there's some contextual menu items here that will help you uh, insert banners and day breaks. But there's also some navigation things here, go to in the go to menu you can go the first strip the previous strip next strip and there's keyboard shortcuts for all this and one of them is the boneyard so uh, I'm gonna click off of here and if I hit command 5 and you can substitute that with control 5 on Windows it'll bring up the boneyard window and if you notice they're very similar you know looking in terms of you know layout and buttons and everything so one way to differentiate the two is always try and pay attention of the border around. Notice there's this blue border around the boneyard and there's a white border around the uh, uh, scheduled area. So that's a good way to keep an eye, a uh, good thing to keep an eye out to tell where you're at in your schedule. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and actually I'm going to actually switch over to the scheduled area by hitting command 5 again. And notice it brings that in focus. So I can switch between the two by hitting Command-5 depending on which window is in focus. And one last thing is that, again, if I right-click, you can actually change your active strip board using keyboard shortcuts or selecting one of these menu items. So notice here we have previous strip board and next strip board, and that's con Command-9 and Command-0. So while I'm here, I can hit Command-0 to go to a different board and just basically cycle through them or I can hit Command-9 to go the other direction. So I hope that helps some of you out there work a little bit faster in the application. Now remember, our public beta is ending July 1st, but we'd love to hear your feedback. You can send that feedback to schedulingbeta at entertainmentpartners.com. Also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get updates on when we add new videos. You can also get updates on what's going on by following our Twitter account. That's twitter.com slash movie underscore magic. Also be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com for all our new products and services. Thanks for watching. 